Are you having trouble with a clogged bathroom sink drain? Does using a plunger seem to make it worse? Let me show you my tested and proven method for clearing a bathroom sink drain. It doesn't require any chemicals, usually no replacement parts, and you're going to save a lot of money on calling a plumber. He is a master plumber. He is a plumbing contractor. He is a plumbing instructor with over 20 years of plumbing experience. He is Plumber Tom. Hey, Plumber Tom here. If you're experiencing trouble with a clogged bathroom sink drain, you're not alone. It's a very common problem. Hair often gets caught in the mechanical pieces down in the pop-up drain. And in general, sinks just tend to build up a lot of scum and all that works together to your disadvantage. Today I'm going to show you a tested and proven method for clearing a sink drain. Now, you might have to get your hands a little dirty, unless you're wearing gloves, but the fact is you can clear that drain without replacing any parts, without using chemicals that may harm your pipes, and without calling a plumber. Let's save you some money. Over to you, Commentator Tom. Plumber Tom starts this job out right by the use of rubber gloves. He's not gonna want to get this stuff on his hands. Laying out some paper towels in the cabinet, this is a great idea. This is gonna help with cleanup later. He's got a catch bucket. That trap has liquid in it, and he needs to be able to contain that. He's loosening the nuts. This is gonna release the water from the trap. Side view. Getting a bit of liquid, you can see it coming. It's in the bucket but he's got this contained. Oh, and there we begin to see our problem. I have a feeling this is only going to get worse as we go. He's pulling off the extension tailpiece. Oh, just as I thought. Oh, please don't show me that plumber Tom. You can tell that there's a lot of hair and scum build up in there, but how much, how much? We're gonna find out. He's loosening the pop-up drain connection. That's gonna allow him to remove the pop-up drain from above. There it comes. Oh no, no. That is what I was afraid of. Look at how thick that is. Look at how dis I'm just glad that I cannot smell what is happening right now. All right, here comes the method. Plumber Tom is using a paper towel, stuffing it down through, and a screwdriver to drive that through from the bottom end. What's this gonna do? Oh, this is gonna drive out the scum. Oh, there it is! Oh, this is horrible! Hey, I have to break in right here to make a very important point. There are occasions when you're dealing with a sink drain that you might begin to experience what is commonly known as stink face. This starts with the wrinkling of the nose, indicating that there's an off odor. Then the eyebrows go down. This is a natural reaction when there's disapproval. The mouth often turns down on the corners. And sometimes you experience involuntary dry heaving. I just want you to be aware that this is a natural reaction to what you were experiencing. You do not need to feel embarrassed or ashamed if the stink face naturally comes out. In fact, making groaning noises or otherwise expressing your discontent with your situation is a very normal way of venting the emotions you're experiencing in the moment. This is more than I wanted to see today. This is awful. Look at the size of that scum. Oh, oh I just don't even want it see this anymore you are so brave plumber Tom so brave we're on to cleanup now he's using a cleaning bleach spray now plumber Tom is gonna want to make sure to get as much of that drain scum off of the pop-up assembly and out of the drain as possible anything left behind is the beginning of another clogged drain so taking the time, he's carefully cleaning the pop-up, getting into the grooves, clearing out all of the places that he can. We're back below the sink now. Plumber Tom's gonna be working on the outlet from the P-trap into the wall. Yep, there's a mess in there. And uh, he's got the bucket below where it comes out of the drain. Now he's using the same paper towel technique, pushing a paper towel through the drainage portion 
and that clears out the inside of that tubular trap. Now, I'm noticing something up in the drain above. He's got a piece of white paper towel stuck in the tailpiece. Oh, I hope he clears that out before he reassembles. But he's doing a good job cleaning. Clearing out the drain connection at the wall with a trap adapter. Loosely fitting it back and preparing for the trap. Now he's gonna once again use paper towel. Pushing it through the trap. This cleans off the entire wall surface inside, eliminating drain scum. Ah, and he's got the bleach going. This is a continued process. He does the same thing for the extension tailpiece. All parts of that drain need to be cleared of that scum. Plumber Tom installs the slip nut and washer. Oh no, oh no! He just put the trap on with that paper towel inside the drain. This is bad news, bad news. But he's going for it. He's tightening up the whole trap and yep, he is going to do this again. All right, I admit, I accidentally left a piece of paper towel down inside that drain. This is the moment when I realized the error of my ways. I recommend that you make sure all the paper towel has been removed so that you don't have to rebuild this twice. Now that he has removed all of the paper towel from the drain, Plumber Tom reassembles the trap the second time. He inserts the pop-up drain and uh, is connecting that with the lever below. You can see here doing some uh, twisting action and making sure that the lever has engaged with the pop-up drain. And he's using some channel locks to just snug that up. Not too hard. Yeah, that looked pretty good. That was nice. Final. Yep, we're on to the end here. He is going to test it out. And we're seeing this time without the paper towel in there, it is flowing nicely. That is a good drain. Now, of course, he's going to do the fill test. Uh, you want to fill that up, give it some head pressure there, and draining down very nice. Very nice, especially compared to what we were seeing earlier uh, when it was all clogged up. Now, the reality of the situation is that even though he's cleared this out, there is a chance that he'll be doing this again within a year given the typical buildup of drain, hair, and scum. You can see here the cleanup. Uh, this is one of the things I really like about Plumber Tom and his work. He takes the time to clean everything up, including the drains. This is excellent. All right, there you have it. A start to finish view of what is needed to clear a bathroom sink drain without the use of chemicals, replacement parts, and without calling a plumber. Think of the money you've saved. Here's one way that you can repay me for the great service I've provided for you today. Click like, subscribe to this channel, and share this video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for watching Plumber Tom. Be sure to like and subscribe.